This is 60 Minutes. With Mike McRoberts. Kia ora, good evening. Tonight we'll take you inside a huge property scam. And we'll show you the many curious things singles do these days to find love. And our lead story this evening, a Kiwi who puts his life on the line for television. He calls it the greatest show on earth, nature venting her fury. You're living your dream. Oh, absolutely, every minute of the day. And he's made a living out of getting closer to it than anyone else. The advance is one of the most powerful storms ever to hit Australia. Now he's got a show of his own that's destined to be seen by millions around the world. G'day, I'm Jeff Mackley, and I love taking on the Earth's awesome power head on. Our own millionaire cameraman risking his life for pictures no one else can get. You may not know his name, but you'll almost certainly have seen his work. Jeff Mackley shoots television pictures that take the breath away. Pictures of eruptions, hurricanes and floods. His passion has made him a millionaire. And now he's fronting an international TV show tipped to make him a household name around the globe. A sort of New Zealand version of the crocodile hunter. Tonight, Alistair Wilkinson introduces you to the Kiwi they call Danger Man. This is just about as close as you can get to an erupting volcano, just a few hundred metres from its mouth. There's a giant fountain of lava going uh, about a kilometre and a half into the sky. You truly feel completely insignificant. New Zealand cameraman Jeff Magley shot these pictures four years ago on top of Mount Etna in Italy. Bro, look at that. It's the final few bursts. It's a spectacle. It's the greatest show on earth. Joe, we've got to get the hell out of here. Yep, back up, back up, back up. Jeff is one of the world's leading adventure filmmakers, a job that requires unfaltering dedication and nerves of steel. This is Hurricane Isabel making landfall on North Carolina. With wind. We've got to get out of here. There's a building about to blow to pieces. There's shit coming out. It's just a case of Kiwi ingenuity and a drive to succeed, I suppose, and a drive to get closer and get better pictures than everyone else, whatever the, the odds of, of pulling it off. Watch the door. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yeah, watch the door. You're living your dream. Oh, absolutely. Every minute of the day. We caught up with Jeff in Vanuatu, three hours north of New Zealand. He took us to the remote island of Tanna, to a volcano where he was planning his latest stunt. Well, there's actually going to be an attempt here shortly, if the locals will give me permission. Uh, there's going to be an attempt to try and drive a bulldozer down in there. Why would we're, you want to do that? Um, because it's fun and because nobody's done it before. Have you got a death wish? No, definitely not. See, I want to keep doing this kind of thing for the rest of my life and all of the ways that you could die up here on, on this volcano are fairly ugly. So. But if you're going to go, though... If I'm going to go, it's going to be spectacular, but, and very quick, but I'm certainly not looking at that happening. So where did it come from, this fascination with the natural world that Jeff's turned into an adrenaline-pumping career? Oh, Jesus. For the answers, we visited his parents, Doug and Marie, who still live in the Christchurch home where they raised their three boys. Yeah. Look at us all with our hard hats about to go yeah. down in the mine. Yeah. It was a family that spent lots of time outside, soaking in everything around. Plenty of times when there's been a storm on and I'd be maybe cooking the evening meal and Doug and the boys would be out somewhere at a vantage point watching all the lightning and really enjoying the storm. So, yeah, so well, Doug's the, the weather buff who's, who's sort of <laughs> well, passed it on to I suppose it comes Jeff. back to uh, mm. nature puts the best, best show on earth. Mm. 
Yeah. After he left school, Jeff started photographing emergencies and selling his pictures to the papers. Then one night he took his video camera along. The next morning he called TV3, hoping to sell the pictures. News boss Mark Jennings took the call. I said to him, we don't have any flames, do you? And he said, yes, of course I've got flames. Um, heaps of flames. And he says, oh, we'll take it. You know, uh, we'll give you 300 bucks for it. And I thought then, this guy, this guy's different. This guy's got something. Back then, pictures like these were a rarity. Jeff was put on the payroll and continued to impress. It wasn't good enough to see a, a car at the end of the police chase and the driver being taken away. It had to be the chase, the apprehension, the tires blowing out. So he, he kept raising the benchmark on in a lot of areas. These were the days before reality TV. Police officers weren't used to cameramen in their face. Other side of the road, buddy. Other side of the road. That's the other side of the road now, thanks. Get your hands off me. Other side of the road, thank okay. you. Get to the other side of the road. Or you'll be now. done for obstruction, all right? He has a ruthless determination um, to get there first, to get the best shots. Um, and that's what's made him as good as he is. Um, but it does cause friction. Oh, I was the thorn in the side of everyone. I uh, once got disqualified from driving for overtaking a fire engine that was on the way to a fire so I could get there first. I've calmed down a lot, though, and I don't do that anymore. <laughs>